this is an exercise on red wine quality uh, and we are using tensorflow to predict the quality of red wine we take this data set which which is related to the red variants of the portuguese vino verde wine and we will see here if we scroll down that there are a number of input uh, features out there and you can see there are 11 features and the output variable is the quality which is a score between 0 and 10. So let's start our exercise. The intention is to show you of how you can use tab uh, tab uh, deep learning on tabular data or structured data. We load the libraries and then we do the uh, load the libraries for the scaling and the transformer read the data and we inspect the columns here we'll find around 11 columns all the features that is responsible we are putting it in a list and then we do a pre-processing so that we can scale the numeric features here there are only numeric features here we have a peak on the data set uh, and then we split the data into two parts the train set and the validation set 70% training and 30% validation. We drop from the data set the quality because which is the target column and then we do a pre-processing to transform and scale it using the pre-processing that we have shown before. You can see the pre-processing here. We do a standard scaler and after the pre-processing uh, we just print out the input ship which is 11 that is the number of 11 features. To show that it has pre-processed, we evaluate the mean which is closer to zero because the scaling would make the mean of the variables to zero and the standard deviation as one. Then we do an early stopping with the parameters of mean delta which is 0 0.001 that is a minimum amount of change to count as an improvement and the patience is 20. The number of epochs to wait before stopping and we do a restore base weights equal to true. Then we do a very simple model with three blocks and each block has a dense layer of 32 neurons, activation of ReLU and the input shape being provided which is 11. We do a dropout of 0.3 that is 30% dropout that means the 30% of the neurons are being dropped in the next layer and then we do a batch normalization for normalizing the values within the batch. Now you know that this is repeated three times and then there is a dense layer which, which uh, outputs the quality of the red wine. Here we do not use the activation because it is a regression problem. Uh, then we do an Adam optimizer and the loss is MAE which is the mean absolute error. We do a fit of the model with the train and the validation data. The batch size of 256 epochs is 500. And the early stopping as a callback and we turn off the training log. After that we have the history object which we have seen as a training loss and the validation loss. If you see the figure. It's okay, but uh, maybe it's a little bit underfitting, but that's fine because here what we are demonstrating is how we can use structured data in deep learning and then we take the sample uh, data and we just randomly choose something. It would have been better if we had made a, made a column of our own, but just for demonstration, we are just taking one of the rows. And then we again pre-process it because before we pass it into the model, we use the same pre-processor that we have used during training and we do a transform. And then you can see that it is again transformed into a, into a set of values, uh, scaled values. And then we predict using the model predict. And then what we do last, this is very important, we save the model in an H5 format file and also we use pickle to dump the preprocessor. Why we are doing this which we will see in the next lecture is that we will use the saved model and the preprocessor in our UI which we will build in Streamlit. Thank you. Hope you had liked the video. Bye.